Hi there! Welcome back to Beauty Bee and to a project pan introduction. So I'm moving in about six weeks and I have a lot of junk that I don't want to move with me. Some of these things are full-size products that are almost gone, some of these things are samples, some things are kind of in the middle. They just don't feel worthwhile to me to take with me, so I'd like to finish them up beforehand. I don't want to just waste them. I'm also planning to do a makeup and, and beauty inventory update somewhere right around the time that I move. I don't know if I'm going to do it as I'm packing up or as I'm getting unpacked, but somewhere in there that seems like a convenient time to film my update. And I would really appreciate having some slightly lower numbers in some of these categories because it's, it's not been going the right direction, let's put it that way. So I actually have quite a few things to get through, so let's start. I have two fragrance samples that I would like to finish up. The first one is from Sol de Janeiro. This is their Sol Curosa 62 scent. It's a very summery scent, and it's warm in a really interesting way. It's sort of a masculine scent, I feel. Definitely not as simple as I expected. Just based on what I'd heard, I assumed it was going to be just a very sweet coconut scent. And it definitely does have some coconut to it, but it's just a little bit more complex than I originally assumed. I like it. I don't love it. I would really appreciate finishing this one up, though. And I have right around half a bottle left. The other one is more of a gimme. This is the Voce Viva from Valentino. This is actually my second sample bottle of this, and I have very little left. This could honestly be gone by the end of the week, probably. And it likely will, because I really enjoy this scent a lot. I've been wearing this almost every day since I opened the second bottle, and really I opened the second sample that I had as soon as I finished the first. It's really nice. I don't think that I will repurchase just because I'm not interested in buying a higher-end perfume, but if I were, this would be one that I would consider. Okay, so if I keep adding these little mini reviews, we're going to be here forever, so I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum for the rest of the video. Let's move on to skincare. The first item that I would like to finish up is this Acure Acure Brilliantly Brightening Face Scrub. This is a one fluid ounce 30 milliliter sample, and I am really not very far to, through this tube. I think I'm right around here. Honestly, this is probably the non-makeup item that I think I'm least likely to finish, but I would at least like to make an effort towards it. This is also a very exfoliating scrub. I might actually end up using this a couple of times on my body just to finish it up. I don't know if you can see that, but there are definitely little gritty bits in there. It, it is very much a scrub. The next skincare item is the Belief the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I don't have a ton of this left. Looking into the tube, I would think there's maybe a week's left, maybe a little less. There's also a little bit in the cap. That could probably be one day's worth. Just, it's kind of bulky for how little product there actually is in here to start with. And with how much I've used of it, it seems even less worthwhile to cart halfway across the country with me. Here's another one that I don't know if I can really finish. This is the Sephora Super Serum Eclat. This is the vitamin C and E serum. I have not used this before. I don't know. I mean, I know how much is in there based on the packaging, but I don't really know how long it will take me to get through. But, oh, that feels nice. And I do like vitamin C products generally. My skin seems to react really well to them, so. And this doesn't seem to be a whole lot of product. I think that 
six weeks should probably be enough time to use this up. And this is a an AM vitamin C serum. And I tend to be a little bit better about actually doing a full skincare routine in the morning than in the evening, so this might actually be achievable for me. Fingers crossed. Now rapid fire, now rapid fire we're just going to go through some samples and foil packets. First we have the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Lipid Boost 360 degree eye something. I think this is an eye cream. I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't seem very thick at all, but it is an eye product. So there's probably a week or more worth of product in here. I'm interested to try it out. I've never tried anything from Skin Fix before. The Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrates. Again, a foil packet. There's probably one or two days worth in here and I will look up how to use this and it'll be good to have that used up and moved out. I have three of these up and up deep cleansing pore strips. I think I moved these with me from my last apartment to this one and honestly maybe the apartment before that. I don't think so though. I hope not. Anyway I bought these in probably a pack of 10 or 20 and there's three left. So we don't need to make a second or third move with these. Time for them to get used up and moved out. I do like these. I don't feel that they're necessary for me though. And I have one sheet mask, the Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Ultra Hydrating Paper Mask. I'm fairly certain that I've tried one or two Yes to masks before. I've honestly never seen a huge difference from a sheet mask and most of them are not very memorable but i'll use it and i won't have to take it with me that's really all there is to it to bridge the gap between skincare and makeup i have my skin iceland limited edition berry lip fix it is a lip balm in a squeezy tube I don't have a ton left of this. I mean, I think you can see there's product from about here down. I don't know if I can finish it in six weeks. That might be uh, setting my goals a little too high, but I do really like using this. I will often apply it three, four times a day just because I'll apply it a couple times during the evening and then once before I go to bed and often I wear it in the morning before I get ready. So it may be possible. I got this from Ipsy. It was an add-on. I paid $3 for this and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's definitely lasted me quite a while. I got this in February and I've been using it pretty consistently since. And it's just okay. It's not something that I feel so attached to that I really want to baby it and keep it with me long term. But with the makeup products that I've got in here, there's a lot of overlap with my project pan for the year. That's because a lot of the project pan items that I put in were things that I was already quite a ways through. For example, my Kat Von D locket powder sample. I am all the way down here. I'm actually below the line that I put in last month. There's really not a whole lot left in here and because it is small and old, I put it in the project pan for the year. It's also why I want to get rid of it sooner rather than later. I don't want to wait until December to finish this. I want to move this out ASAP and have one less thing to pack up. Similar story with this NYX shadow. This is from my Avant Pop palette, which is a four-year-old palette at this point. I have repressed it into a, an empty magnetic pan, but there is not a ton of shadow left in here. I've also been using it every single day to set my eyeshadow primer. So hopefully this will go pretty quickly and I will have one less eyeshadow when I need to do my inventory. If not, 
it should be done relatively quickly once I am moved and settled into my new place. From where I am right now, this next product seems like a gimme. I just want to finish this transition shade. I have a little bit on the edge here and a little bit hanging to the edge over here. I think that I probably have maybe two or three weeks left of this powder. I use it every day in my brows and um, quite frankly it's to the point where it's so delicate that a lot of it crumples off every single time I use it. I don't want to repress it. It doesn't seem worthwhile at this point for so little product but I don't think there's any way that it would survive a move. I feel like it would almost certainly crumble no matter how careful I was when packing it so best to just get it used up and move it out. These last two products are definitely reach goals but you know we can set some reach goals every once in a while and if I happen to achieve them awesome. First we have my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush Mini. This is in Harmony and I don't know how well you can see it but this product is just very thin all the way around. I would like to finish this center area. I don't really care if I end up tossing a little bit of product around the edges. Um, I just I just don't care that much about it. I like this product. I used to like it a lot more before I had to repress it, but now it kicks up a lot more powder. It feels just a little bit more pigmented and a little harder to work with. I want the satisfaction that would come with using this thing up and I think there is some possibility that I will do that in time for my move. Every time I use this because it is so thin I actually do see a noticeable amount of pan. Maybe. Maybe not. We shall see. This is also in my year-long project pan and like everything else that's in that project, it would just be nice to start getting some of those numbers down. They're old products, I want to have them gone and move on to my newer stuff. And then finally I have this Bite lipstick. This is much newer than most of the other things in this project, but it's a, it was a mini to start with and I've used up maybe a third to a half of the mini. That is all that I have left. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. I do like this quite a bit. I think it is pretty, but I have a Dior lipstick that the formula is way better on, and I think the shade is also a hair better for me. And it's just, I would never choose this over the Dior lipstick. So I think with the amount of product that I have left, it's probably best just to finish it up over these next few weeks and just not worry about it again going forward. Just know that I have one bright red lipstick that I really love and stick to that. And there is my project. I think the three items that are going to be the hardest for me are probably the scrub, the mini lipstick, and the blush. But from my vantage point at this point in time, the other products all seem pretty doable. I think that I should be able to move most of them out, if not all of them out, before my six weeks are up. I'll be filming an update to this in about three weeks, so the halfway point of this project. And if you would like to see that, I hope you will like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I really hope that I will see you and many, many empties in the next update. Bye.